Imagine there was a diet where if you decided to go on this diet, you could eat as much food as you wanted and still maintain a perfect body weight year round. Imagine that this same food, if you ate it, would benefit the planet and every animal on the planet. And imagine that even though you could eat as much of this food as you want, you'd never get sick of it and it would always taste delicious. Like every meal would be extremely satisfying, extremely rewarding. And you, you'd never get sick of it. It wouldn't be like pizza or Chinese food where you eat it, it's good, but then you get sick of it and you're like, oh, I don't want that anymore. This food would be like, wow, it's so good and I want it again and again and again until the day you die. And imagine that this food wasn't addictive in any way, shape or form. It was just extremely rewarding, like, like a good hug. Well, that diet does exist. This food does exist. It's fruit. It's whole, fresh, ripe, raw, juicy fruit. And it's available pretty much anywhere on the planet, in any superstore, any grocery store, any farmer's market. It's fruit. It's the food that you as a human being were designed to eat. You as a frugivore were designed to eat. In the same way that a giraffe is an herbivore and is designed for leaves, in the same way a shark is a fish eater and is designed to eat other fish, in the same way a bear is an omnivore and can eat fish and berries, in the same way a cow is a herbivore and eats grass, well, you as a human being are a frugivore. You were designed to eat fruit. You were designed for foods like bananas and papayas and mangoes and durian and jackfruit and grapes and peaches and plums and nectarines and whatever other fruit you find delicious and attractive in its raw natural state if a food is delicious and attractive in its raw natural state you as a human being were designed to eat it if a fruit isn't delicious or attractive in its raw natural state then you weren't designed to eat it it's okay if a food tastes gross you weren't designed to eat it that's why it's gross you spit it out it's your body's natural reaction why do people have such a hard time understanding that if a food tastes gross, like wheatgrass, for example, you were designed to eat wheatgrass, you drink it, you're like, oh god, that's gross, but it's so good for me. Bro, you don't need it. Sure, it's high in minerals, it's high in some vitamins, but you don't need it. You can get all your needs met by eating a fruit diet. You can stay lean year-round by eating a fruit diet. You can eat as much of it as you want, and you're not going to gain weight. You can intentionally eat more than your body needs, and you'll gain weight with it, sure. But it's very hard to overeat on fruit. Go overeat on some oranges, let me know how you do. Go overeat on some watermelon or cantaloupe and let me know how you feel. Your body has a hunger shut-off signal that actually shuts you off and it prevents you from overeating. You can override that with conscious effort, be deliberate about it, but you're not going to find yourself thinking like, oops, I accidentally ate a half a cantaloupe. It's like if your body needs it, it'll eat it. Once you've met your nutritional needs for that cantaloupe, you won't eat it anymore and you'll be done. You'll be satisfied until a few hours later maybe or the next day you come back and have some more. So there is a diet out there, there is a perfect diet for human beings, and it's called the fruit diet. There are many great books on this diet. One of them I would recommend would be the 80-10-10 diet by Dr. Doug Graham. Another would be Ann Osborne's Path to Paradise. Another would be Nature's First Law. Another great raw food book would be The Live Food Factor. That's a great one as well to get started increase your awareness about the power of raw foods. But definitely look into how humans are frugivores and how every, every cell in our body runs on sugar and fruit provides that sugar. How our eyes see color and fruit is very colorful. How we stand on two legs and we stand upright and we can climb trees really, really easily and fruit happens to grow on trees. How our intestines are like twice as long as our body and that helps us absorb all the nutrients from fruit as it passes through. How our fingers just wrap around fruit so perfectly. Next time you grab a banana, look how your hands wrap around it perfectly. Or a mango, look how your hand fits a mango perfectly. Or an apple. Or even a papaya. Or durian, look how easily your fingers open a durian. It's this big spiky fruit for sure. But you walk up to a big durian and you just poke your finger and it cracks it open. You're designed to eat it tastes delicious. So if you're wondering what the perfect diet is, it's, it's the fruit diet. It absolutely is a fruit diet.
you give a child the option between eating a dead animal and an apple, they'll take the apple every single time. They'll take the apple every single time. We have a species specific diet and that is fruit. Cows eat grass, sharks eat fish, bears eat fish and berries, monkeys eat bananas and figs. Humans, man, we eat fruit, man. We thrive on fruit. We thrive on fruit. Look into it. Do your research, you'll see.